Scurvy is a state of dietary deficiency of vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. Humans lack the ability to synthesize vitamin C within the body. Therefore, they depend on exogenous dietary sources to fulfill their vitamin C requirements. Although scurvy is uncommon, it still occurs and can affect children and adults who have chronic vitamin C deficiency. The total body pool of vitamin C is around 1,500 mg, with higher concentrations found in glandular tissue and lowest in muscle and fat tissue. Vitamin C is metabolized by the liver via glucuronidation and sulfation. Excess amounts in the body are excreted unchanged by the kidneys. Scurvy occurs when vitamin C has been eliminated from the diet for at least three months and when the body pool of vitamin C falls below 350 mg. Before going into further details, it is important to recall the functions of vitamin C in the human body. The main function of vitamin C is in the formation and maintenance of the triple helix structure of collagen. It increases the expression of collagen proteins and acts as a cofactor for the enzymes proline and lysine hydroxylase. In addition, vitamin C promotes the absorption of non-heme iron from the small intestine. It also improves immune function. Other functions include regulation of neurotransmitter biosynthesis, regulation of protein metabolism, and antioxidant properties. People who are at risk of developing vitamin C deficiency include the following. Babies who are fed only cow's milk or plant beverages, such as almond milk during their first year. Alcoholic individuals. Smokers. Elderly individuals who eat a tea and toast diet. Pregnant and lactating women who have a greater vitamin C requirement. Refugees who are dependent on external suppliers for their foods and have a limited access for fresh fruits and vegetables. People with eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa. Individuals with type 1 diabetes. People who are undergoing hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. People with iron overload disorders. People with small intestinal disorders such as Crohn's disease, Whipple disease, and celiac disease. Now let's discuss the signs and symptoms of scurvy. The initial symptoms are nonspecific and can include malaise, lethargy, loss of appetite, poor weight gain, diarrhea, tachypnea, and fever. Major signs of scurvy can be remembered with four H's. Hemorrhage, hyperkeratosis, hypochondriasis, and hematologic abnormalities. After one to three months of severe or total vitamin C deficiency, patients can develop the following. Easy bruising and pedicaia. Muscle pain due to reduced carnitine production. Gum bleeding and loss of teeth. Poor wound healing. Sunken eyes. Severe hemorrhage dry mouth, and emotional changes. In the late stage, patients can develop jaundice, generalized edema, oliguria, and neuropathy. If left untreated, scurvy progresses with potentially fatal complications, including cerebral hemorrhage and hemopericardium. Diagnosis of scurvy can be made with history of vitamin C deficiency and relevant clinical features. Lab tests are usually not helpful in diagnosing scurvy. This characteristic X-ray image shows infantile scurvy with ground glass osteopenia. Finally, the only effective treatment for scurvy is vitamin C supplementation. In addition, patients should be advised on dietary modifications to increase their vitamin C intake.